Hey there Rambles and Rovers, we are in Tulum and today we are going to see and experience the marvelous Tulum Ruins. These are my absolute favorite ruins on the whole of the Yucatan Peninsula. So join us on our adventure while we explore this amazing archaeological site and maybe you too can add this to your bucket list so that you too can have your very own rambling and roving adventure. Let's go explore! Tulum's ruins are only a 10 to 15 minute drive from the downtown. They're very accessible. You can take a colectivo or even bike there. It costs 90 pesos or approximately four to five dollars to visit. The site, which in ancient times would have been called Zama, the city of the dawn, is famous for being one of the only fully walled cities in the Maya world. This is because the post-classic period in which the city flourished was marked by constant warfare between Maya city-states. Right offshore we can see the Mesoamerican barrier reef. Mayans would use its sheltered inner waters to transport goods and canoe up and down the coast. So these are your favorite ruins? Yeah, because like tropical. Have I like finally converted you? To a ruin lover? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've ruined me. You've ruined. <laughs> oh my god, you're so clever. <laughs> like I just can't with you. So right behind me is one of the best preserved temples in the whole of uh, the Tulum ruins which still preserves some of the original paintwork done on top of the stucco and plaster that was originally used to cover like the entire temple. And right here behind me is this facial motif that is still really well preserved. You can actually still see some of the paintwork like still on it. I mean, just the incredible amount of like preservation despite the time, the weather, and like, just being so close to the ocean. So right behind me you have El Castillo or the castle, so called because it would have been like the fortified interior of an already fortified city. So the temples and structures around the, the, main, the main temple or palace would have provided protection from enemies that are getting coming over the wall. That's an impressive, impressive sight. So, what do you think? Oh, it is very, very cool. Loving it. 10 out of 10. So right behind me here is the cove where the trading canoes would have come in from the ocean. So out there, but we probably can't see it through like the camera, like at this angle, but there are some breakwaters which delineate like the coral reef that runs all the way south. So this used to be like the equivalent of a Maya superhighway because the canoes would use the protected, sheltered interior of the coast to 
paddle up and down the coast just trading cotton, jade, obsidian, like all these different goods that were highly valued in Mesoamerican society. Now it's just overtaken by tourist boats. I think that because so little remains of the interior of the Tulum ruins, like right behind me, like you just look, you just see the space, but really this would have been like just clustered with buildings and all the materials, stone, stucco, just carefully built, decorated, and it would have housed the elite part of the city with like the peasants living outside. I'm just thinking of the other city, even to this day, but. I've always found Tulum particularly hard to imagine in the past because it, it's just mind-boggling to think that this city would have, how this city would have looked like, you know, like this ancient Maya port city sitting on the side of the Mexican Caribbean. I mean, it's just, it's a place to come and let your imagination just take over. It really is it's an exercise in being able to like put yourself in the past and just go back. Like that's why I keep like coming back to this site in particular because it is just so such a stimulating experience. There she is. Right behind me, guys, is the cenote that would have been here in the interior of the Tulum ruins. So right above us, I mean, you can't see it because of the rock, but there would have been, well, there is a temple that has, that has access to the cenote. So cenotes are places of great power because they're portals into the underworld. Water is associated with the underworld, green, and the vegetation with our world. So this would have been a great place of purification of religious and cultural significance and also like a source of fresh water in case of a siege or a battle. It's important to have it within the walls because there are no other fresh water sources on the Yucatan Peninsula so it would have been important for uh, as a strategic resource to have and also for the cultural and religious implications that it would that it has. just thinking that it's kind of hard to see how like polluted the beach has become with all the sargassum I mean, which is basically caused by climate change and just how overly like exploited the reef is I mean at any given time you can just see anywhere between like, like 25 to 40 boats I guess I mean, it just cannot be good for the reef. So like, I mean, these sites, tourism is good because it provides jobs and like a living for like all the locals and just kind of allows like the maintenance of these places for exploration and for them to just keep them open to the public. But also, I mean, like there's like a real cost to this 
and I just can't help but wonder what the Mayan house, you know, like Mayan rulers or priests or common people would have thought just seeing like what has become of their home, you know, like what the hell have you done to this place? You know, why is there seaweed all over my beach? <laughs> yeah, this is. Ah, uh, and we're out. Oh, oh my God, that was such a nice little little thing to do, a little trip. Gorgeous weather. Over here. No, gorgeous river. I can't wait to get a survey so we'll just go rest and ah, uh, just take in like everything that we saw. You know. Really like, like that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm always like very meditative when it, I whenever we leave like ruins and stuff like that. I'm always just like it's very stimulated. You know, my my imagination just 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 keeps running even after we've gone. Something just stays with you, I guess. Like after yeah. these it's like moments of just being in these ancient places. And, but uh, but cerveza, yeah. We'll get a beer. So don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. And get a water. She'll get a water. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.